Welcome back to the old jarhead, folks. It's freezing, but on the other hand, we've got one log and I've been dying to get milling again. So I think what we'll do is we'll kick this log over to the forks, fire up the mill, fire up the tractor, get things running. It's good to be back milling, folks. Well, that's the plan anyway. All right. <laughs> it's gonna need to thaw out a little bit, isn't it? <sighs> but we need to warm it up. Now we're gonna see how well things worked out. Fuel's only about there and I didn't bring any more, but we only got one log anyway. Let's get away from all this noise. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that log yet, folks. I think I can get another D-log, <laughs> but if I'm gonna do another D-log, I need to put the forks on my tractor. I am not messing around like I did yesterday. This busted up back of mine just can't take it. That's not working out too good. It seems like the hydraulics are pretty cold. You know, it's funny, I've run the mill down to 10 degrees and it's just now probably just above freezing now. But for whatever reason, whether that battery's weak, which John over at Davidson's All Natural Gym was thinking, could be, but the mill's running fine on the alternator. Everything seems to be running fine. I did notice the electrics were a bit slow today though. Um, trying to roll the head back and forth it was a little bit slow. I noticed that yesterday too. So I think things are just sluggish. It's been sitting all winter other than a little bit of use earlier on. So probably just sluggish. So I'm gonna let it warm up longer. Now I've only got about a gallon of gas in it and I didn't bring extra fuel with me. I was going to and I thought, no, I filled it up last time. But I guess I didn't, I thought I did. So I'm gonna let it run. I did notice that anytime I tried to run my log loader, it just wanted to die on me. So that to me makes it sound like it's trying to draw too many amps to run that hydraulic pump, which could mean that the hydraulic fluid is just really thick because of the time it's early, you know, I, honestly, I've not had this problem before. So I'm a little worried about it right now. I, you know, I hate that when your mill's sitting like this for as long as it has this winter. And normally I don't have an issue, but then this is the first year I've left it up here in quite a while. So what I'm gonna do instead while I let it warm up some more is I'm gonna go ahead and grab the tractor, bring it over here, get those forks hooked up and uh, maybe even drop the, the blade off the back and get the box on, but probably just grab the fork so that I can move that log around if I need to. Hopefully that'll give it enough time to warm up. And then that log only measures eight inches at the small end. It's nine inches on the big end, eight inches on the small end. And in my last video, I milled up a six inch log and I showed how there really wasn't much value in those small logs. I'm gonna go ahead and mill this one anyway. I think, well, I might be able to get a six by six out of it. Maybe if I mill it at five and a half and five and a half. So I think I'll probably try that. I can always use some posts like that. So posts, beams, whatever. So I think that's what I'll do is I'll just try to rip that one down, assuming I can get my hydraulics to cooperate with me. So while we're waiting for that to happen. And it's still chilly out here, folks. Check it out. As I suspect you can see behind me, <laughs> there's still frost on the solar panels, both 
up on the roof, which are completely covered, and it's ice, actually, I guess. You know, we had that hail yesterday, then it seems like it did some snowing and then maybe even some ice rain. So we still got ice on the solar panels. It's uh, 846 and the sun is right there. Still probably another 20, 30 minutes before I get enough sun to really get things warmed up. So if I can get everything set up, I should get back to milling here shortly. So let me go grab the tractor, get these forks hooked up, and then we'll see if the mill will cooperate. If not, I'll pack everything up because I'm leaving today and then we'll try to mill before I leave. All right, give me a second, I'm gonna go grab the tractor. It seems like anytime I try to engage the hydraulics, they run a bit slow. And I've also noticed that um, the mill seems to be running back and forth a bit slow. So that would tell me that the electric motor on the forward and reverse drive on the system maybe is not getting enough power or it's cold, one or the other. So what I've decided to do is pull out my multimeter and check the voltage on the battery right now and just see what that shows me first to start out. So let's jump to it and, and get that done. Oops. Uh-oh, folks. Okay. That's a bad sign, folks. I got power, but it's running slow. Well, we're at 11.85. So folks, we're getting a drain here, but now I need to see if I can fire it up and get it running and see if it'll start. No. All right, well, I'm gonna go get that solar panel, throw it on here, get a charge on this thing and see if we can get that battery charged up. <laughs> I have a feeling the battery's smoked. If the battery's smoked, I'm not milling that log up today, folks. So let me go get that solar panel, get it on here, see if we could charge that battery up. All right, we got the solar panel on here. So, sitting at 12.03.04, and it's in the shade, so we need to put that in the sun. Uh, oops. I had, thought I had it in some sun here, folks, but uh, here we go. Okay, see what that does. 12.08, so it's going up, 12.09, okay. All right, well, not a good sign, folks. I got my little solar panel on there and it's brought the voltage up from 12 or 11.8 to 12.9, so it'll, it'll bring it up, but I'm kind of concerned. Brand new alternator, light was always green, everything seemed to be doing fine, but, um, that battery should not be drained like that, not when the engine's running and I'm not using the, hy the hydraulics. So the fact that 
it drained it that much, I suggest that battery's not holding the charge if it's trying to give it one. So I think what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this charge up a little bit. I'm gonna get my jumper cables, bring the tractor over here, hook up the jumper cables from the tractor to the sawmill, fire up the sawmill, disconnect the jumper cables, and throw my multimeter on there and see if that alternator's giving me a charge. I fire it up and it's not giving me a charge, then there's something else wrong. My last alternator tested out bad, so if this ain't giving a charge on those batteries when the engine's running, well, I'll be scratching my head unless I got sent a bad alternator. So let me go get those jumper cables. Hopefully you can hear me, folks. Let's check that out now. At 11.9, folks. And going down. That's not good. That's at 11.8. Still going down. Well, folks, I'm not getting anything out of that alternator. As of right now, folks, we're dead in the water. I'm not getting a charge off this if I go from the positive terminal on the back to the, the ground right here. One thing I can check is I should actually have power. If I go like this, put that on DC and connect up here like so. I think I should have power here. I do, 11.98 volts. So that's my positive and negative. So I do have almost 12 volts across these two terminals. Um, and I know in the book it talks about how to check that. There is a way to check that. I'm just not sure without the book what it is. And I don't think I have them here. If I do, I'll have to check, but <sighs> something's not right. So I'm a little frustrated, folks. I guess you could probably tell that. I think what I'm gonna do, put the solar panel back on there, get this thing charging back up again, put it away, take the band off, get everything situated, and then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pack up and head home. I'm gonna talk to Wood Miser, tell them what I found, see if they can give me some suggestions then come back out. I find it hard to believe that a brand new alternator is not putting out some kind of voltage. Something seems a little odd. Now I may need to get into this panel right here. I should shut that off uh, to check my connections there. But let's be honest, that's been working fine and it hasn't moved. So, I mean, if, uh, if I was towing this all over the place, yeah, sure, I'd believe that something could come loose, but come on folks. I don't think so. So I will probably look into that. I'm going to I'm going to go ahead, put the solar panel on, get everything done, pack it up, put it away. I got to head out today anyway, so I don't have a lot of time. So I think for now, it's a mystery. Drop down in the comments below, let me know what you think. What what do you think's going on? Help me diagnose this thing. Meanwhile, folks, I'm going to drop another video right here for you to check out. Thanks for watching. Sorry I didn't get this log milled up. Until next time. The old jar hit out.